Nerd on a Couch, go to the Sun City Sci-Fi Convention. Number eight, Nerds on a Couch. I'm here with... Tony Amendola. Sir, I am so glad to be sitting here next to you. you know, I'm a big Stargate fan. One of the questions I always ask, you know, people who are in Stargate and all this, how did you focus on your character? You know, what was it that pulled you into a sci-fi show? Uh, you, you know, for me, the great thing, the, the big help I got was from Wardrobe. Uh, you know what they put me in. I didn't quite know who the guy was. You go do an audition, and as soon as I saw visually what it looked like, I thought, oh, I get it. He's sort of a Roman samurai medieval knight. <laughs> you know, with my funny little cap, and so it was. Uh, it was easy, and then you just, you know, it's a little bit like. Uh, uh, you know, jumping off a diving board, you just go with it and you learn a lot uh, just simply by uh, by jumping off. So it was great fun. Another personal favorite film of mine, I love Zorro. That was actually one of the films that I keep watching over and over again. Can you tell us how that experience was for you? Well, yeah, Zorro was, uh, was great fun. I had done a, uh, actually, a, a, an independent film that was shot in West Texas in uh, uh, Eagles Pass, uh, you know, down from here in the Rio Grande. And the director, Martin Campbell, happened to have seen, he saw that film directed by, it's called Lone Star, directed by John Sayles. So when I went in for my audition, he felt like he knew me. So he gave me a wonderful opportunity to do The Mask of Zorro. And then later on, I had done two films in uh, Bulgaria. It was very cold in the winter, so I wrote him a note saying, I've really been freezing my buns off. And I hear you doing a sequel to Zorro. Is there, uh, you know, I'd love to come work. And that's when he decided to give me uh, the role of Father Quintero in the second one. And uh, the great thing about that, I played them as if they were brothers. Uh, Don Luis was the older brother, so he got the land. Down in uh, Father Quintero was the uh, youngest brother, so he went into the church. So uh, it made great sense to me. And Zorro, I mean, what could be more fun than dressing up and you know, his elegant clothes and riding horses? And you know, I worked in Mexico for about uh, four months. And it was a good time. That's what I love about the style. You don't see that. No, it's a great film. And the second one is terrific too, because in the second one you have the little boy, you have the son of Zorro, and I have a great sword fight with him that is so funny. It is so funny because I'm fighting with a, uh, uh, a teacher's pointer and he's fighting with a ruler. And we, we have this great acrobatics of the fight. And, uh, and it's great family entertainment. You miss that. Everything, you know, I, I, I enjoy the dark, edgy stuff too. But we, it's very important to do good family stuff. And that's, you know, one of the things about Once Upon a Time as well as the family show. Well, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Nerds on a couch. Here.